afternoon, everyone. Today we're here on the um, bond proceeding for Mr. Ryan Leonard Manigo on the allegation of two counts of attempted murder as well, one count of attempted murder as well as two counts of murder. On the attempted murder, Mr. Manigo, you're looking at facing uh, a penalty of no more than 30 years. And on the murder, or two counts of murder, you're looking at facing um, 30 years to life or death penalty. Do you understand the allegation brought before you, Mr. Manigo? Thank you. At this time, we're going to go through the bond proceeding. Uh, your roll call date, Mr. Manigo, shall take place on September the 15th at 9 a.m. Located here in Carlton County at 101 Hampton Street. You must go to every roll call proceeding until your case is disposed. Do not miss, because if you miss, they will put a warrant out for your arrest. Understood, Mr. Manigo? Thank you. At this time, Mr. Manigo, would you like to apply for a public defender or you have private counsel in this matter? You want to apply? What we're going to do to not to prolong the bond proceeding, we're going to do everything at the end of the bond proceeding. Okay, Mr. Manigo? Okay, thank you. Also, Mr. Manigo, you have the right to what is called a preliminary hearing. And what that entails, that is an evidence hearing. It's to prove whether or not the state have enough allegations to charge you with these alleged offenses. If you think there's not enough evidence to charge you with these alleged offenses, or if you think there's a discrepancy in why you were charged the way you were charged, you can apply for this particular hearing within 10 days from today's date. Um, before we proceed, Mr. Manigo, what is your current home address? If you can, speak up for me, please, sir. All right, thank you. If it's subject to change, I ask that you update the court as soon as possible. Last but not least, Mr. Manigo, if the charges brought against you are discharged, dismissed, or not brought, or if you're not found guilty in this particular offense, offenses, you can petition the court to have this removed from your record. Any questions, Mr. Manigo? All right, thank you. State. Your Honor, the state's position in this matter is, since as Your Honor is well aware, uh, the murder charges would have to be set by a circuit court judge anyway. We would ask you to defer setting on the attempted murder so that we can get them all set by a circuit court judge at the same time for judicial economy. All right, thank you, Counselor. At this time, does anyone from the victim room like to be heard at this time? Hold on just a moment. Bear with me just a moment. We have some technical difficulties. Okay, you may proceed. If you could state your name for the record, please, ma'am. My name is Demia Magwood. I am the granddaughter, the first cousin, the favorite niece, and cousins to the family members. Would you like to say anything at this time, ma'am? Um... I just want Ryan to know that he'll never be forgiven. What you did, you hurt us. You took away our matriarch of our family, someone who took you in, fed you just as her own. And I just wish you you get the worst charges ever. Like, I wish you death. I wish they give you the death penalty because what you did is brought death to us. You didn't take one. You didn't take two. You didn't take three. You didn't take four. You took five, six with no remorse and thank God one got away to be able to tell us what actually happened in that house. We hate you. We hate you. Thank you, ma'am. Does anyone else would like to be heard at this time? I'm Mr. Magwood, before you proceed, if you can back up for me, sir. So come. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank I'm you. Jerome Magwood, the son of Maggie. Michelle was my niece. I, um, my brother, Amos, and my little nie nieces and grandnieces. I want you to know, um, I just want to know why. What was your motive? What were you thinking about? Was your own something that, you know, you needed to talk to someone about it before you went to spur? Please let us know. And I hope that all this will come out on the end, that you will get what you deserve if you are found totally guilty of all the charges that were brought against you. Not one, two, or three, or four, but you taking five life and the seventh one got away. The, six, the sixth life and the seventh one got away to tell us the story what all happened. So please come clear. If you whatever you want to say, you need to let us know. 
Well, who are you been with? Tell us what, uh, you know. Uh, uh, turn them in. Don't take it out by yourself. If you if you had any help. Good. At this time, I would allow one more individual to speak at this time. Would anyone else from the victim room like to be heard? Uh, my name is Curtis Magwood. I'm the grandson of Maggie Magwood. I'm her eldest daughter that preceded her death. Son, she took us in after her daughter died um, in her old age. Um, and her son, Angel, is my uncle. Michelle is my sister. Also, my admin. Um, and my general manager is my business. Um, another one, two of my nieces. Uh, another one is a good friend of mine, the sort of friend Hopper. The biggest thing I wanted to say is that we come faithful with our spirits intact. But just as that is intact, our heart brokenness is even more intact. I would be lying to you if I would tell you we're not angry. We're very angry. And the peace that we're looking for is we need answers. But we can have those answers. And that's what we ask of, of you all as far as the judicial system goes to give us our answers, and then we can go from there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. At this time, um, based on the allegation that's presented, this is a tragic, tragic situation um, that has affected our community here in Carlton County at this time. I am going to defer your case to the circuit court judge to be considered for bond consideration at this time, Mr. Manigault, which means at this time your bond is denied currently at this time, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you.